this warm sunny day and the rowan tree was glowing in the sunshine and it was almost like there was a bit of extra magic in the air. But who's this? Who's this coming? Yes, it's Morag. Morag with her coo. Her lovely cow, Flora. Now, Morag wanted to make a special crown for her cow from the leaves and berries on the rowan tree. And her friends, Roddy and Donald, have come. Morag asks Roddy and Donald if she can have some leaves from the rowan tree to make her crown for the cow. And Roddy and Donald think that's very funny. Why do you want to make a crown for your cow? You are a, such a funny girl. Well, said Morag, it's something that we've always done. We've been told from days of old that it's important to look after your cows by making them crowns. Roddy and Donald have to go because they're going on an adventure the next day and they're very excited, so they need to go to bed early. What's this magic in the air? Are those fairies? Are those fairies? And are they singing? Are the fairies singing? Do the fairies have a special song? There's a story we've been told, handed down from days of old. There's a story we've been told, nature has a heart of gold. So, as the moon was in the sky and the night time, everybody slept well. Because in the morning, the boys were getting up early to go off on their adventure. Yes. Roddy and Donald got up early to go and collect all the sheep. One sheep was very stubborn. And that one sheep went, wouldn't come. And they were trying to get the sheep to come. But no, the sheep went running off up the hill. So Roddy and Donald went running after it, trying to get it to come back. Come back! Oh, the sheep! The sheep was out like playing hide and seek. It popped up here and there. And Roddy and Donald were looking everywhere and they thought they found the sheep and there was the sheep then went disappearing oops and then appeared and then disappeared and then appeared and then disappeared. Oh dear, it's wet sheep playing hide and seek. Woo, hide and seek. Pop, pop. Where's the sheep gone? Where's that sheep? Roddy and Donald started to go home. 
They thought, oh, well, the sheep will just come back in its own time. And they were walking home in the moonlight. And they were coming along over a hill when they thought they could hear some different music. Lovely music in the air. What's that lovely, lovely music? was that? They could hear a magic sound. Yes. And they could see a little castle. Oh my goodness, a little castle. It was just very little and there were lights on inside. And you could see, you could see inside there was movement. It was like there was little people dancing inside. <gasps> Donald was entranced and Donald went running over. Donald went running over to the little castle and he knelt down and he peeped in through the window and yes he could see he could see in through the window there were little fairy people and they were all dancing and then he heard them call out they called out his name Donald Donald come away in Donald was so excited he went into the fairy castle. But no, Roddy, his brother, Roddy came and Roddy said, No, no, Donald, don't go in there. That's a fairy castle. But Donald was inside. He was inside the fairy castle and it was magical. It was so beautiful. He could hear all the lovely music playing and could see all the fairies and then oh who was this coming it was the fairy queen and the fairy queen came and said hello Donald and do you want to dance but Donald said I don't know how to dance and the fairy queen said I'll teach you how to dance first of all you need to learn how to do the party bar And all the fairies helped Donald learn how to do the party bar so he could join in all the dances. And what fun they had! Oh, how happy Donald was to be learning the party bar in the fairyland with all the lovely music. And he danced. And what a happy time!